Welcome to the presentation of program number 0011. The topic is high resolution T1 mapping for high grade glioma. I'm the speaker, Zhi Bo Zhu. I have nothing to disclose. T1 mapping is necessary in quantitative brain disease MRI, which is a powerful imaging tool revealing brain tissue tracer kinetic characteristics. As shown in the workflow here, sets of multi core T1 weighted MRI data are acquired. The data can vary along either parametric dimension or temporal dimension. The data can be used to reconstruct pre-contrast T1 maps and DC time series images. With the knowledge of the VIF, we can perform DC quantification and estimate TK parameters, such as the permeability K trends shown on the right. As shown in the previous slide, accurate DC brain tumor assessment requires accurate brain tumor T1 values. In literature, brain tumor T1 is found to be longer than healthy white matter. T1 weighted brain images also empirically show that brain tumor T1 is potentially heterogeneous. This highlights the interest and significance of studying brain tumor T1 heterogeneity. So, as motivated, the study evaluated a reason a high resolution whole brain T1 mapping approach and investigated T1 values and spatial heterogeneity in high grade glioma. Details of the data used in this study are shown here. The data includes 13 patients with high grade glioma, each with three scan sessions. VFA T1 mapping approach was used with seven split bangles logarithmically spaced from 1 to 15 degrees. To avoid long scan time on patients, data were undersampled by roughly fourfold with the world density cartesian spiral pattern. TR and TU were 5 and 1.9 milliseconds respectively, and field view and resolution were 240 by 240 by 240 and 1 by 1 by 2 millimeter cubic respectively. Pre-contrasted T1 values were estimated by a model-based reconstruction without spatial smoothness constraint. The problem was formulated as shown in which m0 is the prolonged density, t1 is the longitudinal relaxation time, alpha is the flip angle after b1 plus correction, f of u is the undersampling for a transform operator, s the core sensitivity maps, d is the steady state SVGR signal model, and k is the measured multi core case based data. The problem was solved using nonlinear conjugate gradient algorithm initialized with m0 equals to 0 and t1 equals to 1000 milliseconds. Patient demographics and T1 values from all three time points are reported. Both brain tumor T1 values and the coefficient of variance are reported to be larger than those measured in this dataset and literature values at 3 Tesla. Tumor T1 mean and the coefficient of variation are graphically reported. There is no statistically significant trend at different time points, but interestingly, as the figures show, there are more variations among patients than those between time points. Results from three representative patients at the first time points are shown here. M0 maps are shown on left, on which tumor ROIs were delineated by red contours, and T1 maps are shown on right. All maps are volumetric. T1 mean within tumor ROIs is longer than contralateral white matter in all three cases. The evidence of craniotomy is pointed by green arrows, and location of surgical cavities and extra axial fluid collection are pointed by blue arrows. We will have a close-up look into the white dashed boxes in the next slides. In this slide, T1 display range is constrained to highlight spatial heterogeneity. Regions with long, medium, and short T1 values are highlighted by light green, green, and dark green arrows, respectively. We can observe spatial heterogeneity in both tumor and peritumor regions. The heterogeneity might be related to local cellular environment, and it emphasizes the necessity of high-resolution T1 mapping for high-resolution quantitative DCRMI. Here shows the results of an interesting case with substantial tumor progression. The progression also coincided with an increasing in mean T1 values from 9083 milliseconds to over 2300 milliseconds. There was no substantial change in coefficient of variation in spite of the progression. More information such as treatment might strengthen the diagnostic values of high-resolution T1 mapping. As a conclusion, we evaluated a novel millimeter resolution whole brain T1 mapping method in patients with high-grade glioma. We found glioma T1 values to be larger and more heterogeneous compared to normal appearing white matter. We are also deploying this approach in a larger study at our institution, and we will have more data soon. The work is funded by NIH. We thank Canadian Cancer Society Research Institute for patient scans. We also thank Sri David Guta, Nangun Lee, and Yetian for helpful discussions. Thank you for watching. This work is funded by NIH. We thank Canadian Cancer Society Research Institute for patient scans. We also thank Sri David Guta, Nangun Lee, and Yetian for helpful discussions. Thank you for watching.